guys, good morning. Today I'm gonna do swatches and check out these new paints that my husband got for me. And these are the Stuart Semple Potions set from Culture Hustle. And um, I've heard all kinds of things about these. Um, one of them is that they're like the most highly pigmented acrylic paints. Um, I've heard that they smell different, all of them smell differently, like, like fruits and stuff. Um, that, you know, it's like one coat coverage and it's perfect. Um, all kinds of really good things I've heard about these. So I thought we would go ahead and swatch these. Um, this is just on mixed media um, sketchbook paper and I'm swatching them. But they come in these really cute little like potion bottles. They look like little milk bottles, but they're plastic. And um, let's see how much is in here. There's 100 milliliters in each one of these. I can't remember how much the set was. It was pricey though. I know that. Um, I've been wanting it for a little bit and my husband saw it on my Amazon wish list and got it for me. And I thought that was amazing. But all of the colors do look highly pigmented as far as from the bottles. Let's see, we're gonna go, we're gonna do the black one first. This is a carbon black called Raven. Because that's really, in my opinion, that's gonna tell the tale of pigment. Black's gonna be the one. Um, so the, it's just a little like tin metal lid that's on there. I'm just using an old crappy Craft Smart brush and you know some water over here to clean out my brush. So I mean it's nice and thick. It's not running off my brush. Let's see, I'll get this on screen. So that is just like your standard smooth swipe and that's all I'm going to do for each one of them but I mean yeah that's I can't see through that black at all I mean it'll have to be dry before I can tell you whether I would need two coats of that but I mean it's almost an ink it almost is a carbon ink color nice um We'll lay it on way. Let's do the red one. This is called Ray Gun, which I think is awesome. I like, I love the names on these. I'm shaking them up. So the Ray Gun Red is on the orange side of red. I don't know if you could tell that in the viewfinder. It's not super orange. I mean, it's, it's an obviously in a red, a red, but um, it's a, I want to say, a crimson, like a, on the orange side of red. That's all I can really say. So and I can also say that my water, doing the black first, like destroyed my water. <laughs> Here's the ray gun. I'm actually, because it's so pigmented, I'm actually grabbing too much, I think. That's actually really pretty. It may dry down to a red or red, I don't know. They actually have a warning label. Is the red one the only one that has it? Yeah, because it's cadmium. Uh, oh, no, the yellow has it as well. And the orange. Okay, so um, the red, yellow, and orange have, it says, important, be careful. This paint contains cadmium pigment. Don't apply it with a spray. Don't eat, drink, or smoke whilst using this. Keep away from kids. If you swallow any, get medical help quickly. Long-term explo exposure. exposure can cause kidney damage and increase your risk of cancer. Be sensible, please. I like the way they said. Be sensible, please. So um, all, of these can, all of these three contain that warning, as they should. Um, you can find cadmium-free paints if you want. Like They're just letting you know these have cadmium. Long-term exposure can be a problem, and I appreciate that. And I'm not, you know, drinking out of the bottle here. So we're good. 
but I don't intend on putting these through a sprayer either. So that's Raygun. Now we'll do orange, the orange one next to it, and this is called Crush Potion. And it's a beautiful bright orange, like Halloween orange. You can see. I'm just gonna grab it out of the lid. I don't obviously I don't need much of these. They are, as they claim, very pigmented. And I like that a lot because it's less work. You get something that has good coverage, like from the get-go. You're not, you know, painting something three and four times to try to get the coverage that you want. It's just like makeup or anything else. You know, you want good pigment, you want good coverage, you want it to be smooth. Everything else, nail polish, same thing, you know what I mean? And so far, these seem to be living up to those claims. I'm not seeing any patchiness. I mean, nothing like it's nice, like a nice matte dry day on so far with that black. Okay, let's do the yellow. This is Happy Potion. Oh, I forgot to smell them. Now, I have had a cold recently, so I may or may not be able to smell anything here. Uh, I don't know that the black is supposed to smell like anything. It doesn't say. Okay, it smells like tempera paint to me. <laughs> let's see red. Let's see what Reagan. Obviously, I'm not going to take a big old snorting nose full of this with the cadmium. I mean, it smells sweet, I guess, but sweet like tempera paint, you know what I mean? I'm not the one to know because I'm, I've been sniffling and snorting for a week. Oh no, the orange does. Oh, the orange smells like oranges, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm such a child when it comes to something like that, like those markers that smell good. Oh, okay. <laughs> the orange smells really good. Let's try this, the yellow. Happy smells like... Okay. I'm not sure. It smells like... You remember those scented erasers that we had when we were kids? That's what this smells like. Like, exactly like scented erasers. <laughs> that is, like, my childhood in a bottle. <laughs> I love that. I love that that smells like that. Like it's hard to like pinpoint a certain fruit, but it's a, it's a sweet smell. I wonder how, I mean, I wonder if the smell affects the paint in any way. I don't know. But here's Happy Potion, which is definitely a Happy Potion. It smells amazing from what I can smell. I bet if I could smell, if I had clear nasal passages, I could probably smell it even better. That's a beautiful yellow. I also want to check and see how these mix with each other. So the next one is the Cobalt Blue Dive Potion. They all have very cute names. Let's see if it smells like blueberry or something. Wow. It's just that same very sweet, fruity smell. Nice. Not, see, I'm painting up very little now because I realize you don't need a lot. I mean, how smooth that is, and I'm using a super old, crappy, falling apart brush. Yeah, I'll take that all day long. I'm not sure how long these will last. Like, these bottles aren't enormous, but you don't have to do two or three coats of it, then you're already saving product. I don't know if it's legitimate savings price-wise though because they are very expensive. The green, that same thing. This this one smells like tempera paint to me, which is not a bad smell. Just, you know, that kind of grade school paint smell. Very nice, very nice coverage, you guys. These are fantastic so far. And you can see these ones that are drying down here, like it is super opaque. There's no, nothing shiny through at all. The blue is the only one that even has maybe a patch to it right there. And that could just be the way I picked up my brush too. Let's try the purple haze potion. Purple haze. What if it smells like grape? I'm so excited.
Yep. <laughs> I'm such a kid. <laughs> like, I never aged past 12 years old, apparently. Okay, let's put the purple here. This is haze. Oh, that's pretty. And these are like, they're straight up colors. There's no, I mean, no differentiation in the color. Like it's all the way through pigment, all the way through. That is purple, it is purple. Okay, now pink, which is called Gossip Potion, which looks literally like Pepto-Bismol pink. It, it, there's no hotness to it, like it's pink, which I like. I like hot pink too, but I'm like, if I want pink, I want it to be pink, you know? Especially for mixing. Now this has got like a, almost floral smell to it. I wonder, they're probably all the same smell and I'm like just in my head thinking they're different or something. I'm just wiping my brush out over here. It actually, the purple stained my brush. You see that? Interesting. Pick up some of this Gossip Potion. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I like that quite a bit. Yep, yep. They killed it with these paints. So this white one is called Saint. And obviously I'm doing these swatches on a white paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it across the black and red up here just to see what kind of coverage that has. The white smells like sweet too. I was afraid it was gonna smell like milk or something and I would be so grossed out. I hate milk. <laughs> and it looks like a little milk bottle. Okay, pick up some white. Okay. We're gonna go through the red and the black over here and see what happens. Oh, I picked up a bunch of the red. I'll pick up a little more and go over the black. The red wasn't as dry as I thought it was. You see where I picked that up? Yeah, let's try over the black. Okay. I mean, it's not super opaque over the white, but I mean, it would be hard pressed for any acrylic paint to be. It's, I'm pretty sure this brush isn't helping, but you can see like it's still swiped over it pretty good. I bet in two coats it would completely cover that black and that is super dang black. Apparently they've come out with it. <laughs> he created the blackest black. Um, so I'm curious if that's different from this formula. Like there's a, the black 3.0 or something that just came out. And I'm wondering if that's the same as this formula, which I don't think it is because it's not, it doesn't say the 3.0 on it. Um, or if he's actually added more pigment to that, which I can't even imagine why he would need to. But I'm gonna show you these guys, so. Go. Look at that pink, isn't that awesome? Anyway, thank you for joining me for this little swatch fest. Look, I'm smelling the paper now. I don't know if they'll smell after they're dry. I'll be able to smell it better after I'm over this cold completely, I'm sure. Or I'll make my husband smell them or something. <laughs> um, and I'll put down below if, what he has to say about it. But, um, yeah, I mean, so far, oh, I didn't mix, try mixing any. Let's see, what should we mix? Let's do, let's mix that red and white, what do you think? Let's give that a shot and see what happens. I'm gonna just mix it on the page real quickly. We'll grab some of this white, blob it right there. Close it up because I'm really good about knocking things over if they don't have a lid on them. Gonna grab some of this red, blob it right there. See what kind of pinks we can make. Okay. I'm gonna grab 
take some of this red, mix it into this white. And this is what I mean by that red having a lot of orange leanings because it's making an almost melon color. You're not gonna like make a bright pink with this red, which is I'm assuming why they gave you a pink. The white definitely overpowers. <laughs> but I mean, it's a nice smooth mix. You can see there, it's a nice smooth mix. It, it basically, sorry. It basically made a salmon color, which is not hateful. These dry very, very quickly. I will say that I would have to like leave this if I was gonna use it for a while in a session, I would have to put these out on a wet palette. Um, just to keep them wet long enough to use them um, I because I certainly wouldn't want to waste them as much as they cost but I mean you know I feel like they're worth it just because they're so pigmented so anyway thank you so much for joining me today um, and I will see you in the next video bye